Yep, let's do it. Let's get ready to rumble. Hello and welcome to Resident Evil 5. I'm not sure what part this is, but <laughs> um, I'll probably start here since that phrase is in fact copyrighted <laughs> and we may not be allowed to say it. <laughs> uh, they won't pick it up. Anyway, this is part 17 if I'm if my correct if I'm correct. And this is the final chapter of the game. There will be one more after this unless we retroactively put the DLC in alongside this. But let's get ready to finish this bit. Well, good you didn't say that. If, if this episode starts with a long bleep, it's because of that. We have been going for 11 hours thus far. Obviously we've had about two and a half, three hours worth of breaks and intermissions, so we're doing a good run of this. It's reasonably thorough and we're enjoying it, so... Reasonably thorough. Don't delude yourself. <laughs> We basically skimmed. It's more thorough than I thought it was going to be. We were as thorough in this as like you get from a swimming adventure with us. Say, so this is actually a really long chapter. Wait. Unless I'm mistaken, there's actually four parts in chapter six, but I don't think there is, is there? Well, it's not really a long chapter. It just depends how many times we fuck it up. It just yeah. put us in that room with like two big chain gun guys. Um, several things that can one shot kill you. Yeah, the Reapers. And... I didn't bring the chain. Jill, are you alright? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just listen carefully. There's something I need to tell you. Wesker's superhuman strength. It comes from a virus. But the virus. Chris just looks so much like a pimp. <laughs> himself regularly with a serum. So if he cut the supply of serum, he loses his strength. Affirmative. It's surprising if Sheva kind of looked like he may be one of, yeah, one of his girls, man. But he's more interesting clientele. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used a Yeah, she's for the fantasists and Jill's for the, the serious s &M guys. See, the thing is, she's like, if you inject too much, it should act like a poison. Like, are we not going to entertain the possibility that we could just make him worse? <laughs> we could just make him a more superhuman thing. Like, just so he's he's in the so fast you can't see him state constantly. Like Neo. As though he's had like you know too too much coffee in one day. What if we make what if we accidentally make him Neo? Like that's a serious concern. I, mean, I wonder what happens if you like you know give Wesker like a. Sugar rush or something, or caffeine rush. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. If it does, it'll initiate a biohazard. It's just like just. Hence the Japanese name for the game, Biohazard. Which for some reason got changed originally and to Resident Evil everywhere else, so that's what it stuck with. Who knows? Which is why, to an extent, Resident Evil doesn't make much sense to the title other than the first game, because that's the only one that really fits it. But, I say. This fucking room. Uh, this is a really annoying area of the game, but... They like areas that are just bathed in flame. To be fair, this isn't as bad as annoying as that near... Oh! That nearly final area in um, RE6. That bit's kind of really nasty and annoying. That one's just even worse, I think, than this. Wow, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna die. I got you back, bro. There we go. Yeah, it's an area you need to be seen carefully because you get lots of buried enemy types that have long range, short range. You just sort of got to, you just sort of got to keep an awareness of what's going on more than anything else. Yeah, you can take cover in this area, but it's unwise because there's close combat enemies and just enemies at all different angles. So bound, it's bound to be someone still looking at you no matter what you do. There's one particular area coming up where it is very important to sort of keep an eye out of what's going on. Please 
And this is one of the reasons why this bit of the chapter is a bit irritating, because it's a lot of the filler of just hanging around, waiting for big doors to slowly open. That's good for them. Oh shit, like armor. Shit, that guy had grenades. Well, it takes like a third of your health. Really. Yeah, they're pretty powerful, and say that shows how powerful they are when you use them yourself as well. Up with the grenade. Ow! Damn that like that literally killed me in one shot. Oh where am I getting shot from? Where am I getting shot Behind. from? Where am I getting shot from? That guy's just sort of ceased to react. What, like a flash grenade? Yep, they threw one at us. Right, where's... He's up there. Above the door. Right, above the door. This is an area that you'll... This is a really annoying area for what you've got to sort of wait through. Ow! So this area is just sort of... It's a little bit BS, I guess, in the sense of that they just throw lots of enemies at you that just tear through your health really quickly. This is one that you, you've got to wait a long time for the door to open. They oh send, shit, this guy next to me. Hurry up. They send a lot of difficult enemies your way for this one. Which is why I don't particularly like this section of the game. Oh, shit, Reaper. Shot, shot, There's another one. Right, got me. This is why this area is a bit irritating because these just things just come out of nowhere and will one shot you. It's very irritating. But here we go again. Near synchronized. Opening primary bulkhead. Please maintain a safe distance from the bulkhead. One coming. Yeah, I've already left. Got me again. I can't take these on my own. I need a bit of help. Very well. I will. Yeah. Thanks a lot, just sort of leaving me to them. I will deal with your bitch problems later. Ugh. Nope. You're infected against Reapers, which is why I brought them. Head around. 
wait till he hops over that little uh Yep, it does stun him for a sizable portion of the time. Now Pounds. once we get through these doors we're about to go through, um, two guys with chain guns will appear. And you'll want to deal with them pretty quickly because where you go to get the switches for the next thing, I believe they can corner you and sort of stun lock you. Actually quite I think you need the key cards from them. Yes, you do. And they can sort of corner you in here and they sort of stun lock you. It's yeah, very mean. There's one regular one, and one who I guess decided to jazz up his camouflage. Why, why would it let me take cover? Oh shit. That's a lot of guys. Ow. I've got the melee vest on. Ow. Ow. I ain't. What even hit me? He looks like an RPG. And I. Oh, no. I may have been in my death animation when that happened. Ow. These things hit hard. I don't have any healing items, there's nothing I can do. Just uh, run through here. About my current state. Let's run through here and keep running. We'll probably find some around here. I literally have zilch. Try and use this turret. One down. Yeah, I tried to keep him stunned. There's the other one. Yeah, he's down at your feet. Had to leg it. Yeah. Up there, they can sort of stun lock you in place, so it's. Oh, uh, this is unnecessarily stressful. Like There's herb down here. You just where I jumped over. You have to pick it up. There's a fucking way I'm going out there. I'm gonna try and kill this guy first. Oh shit, this guy's coming. Alright, bruh. Oh, wait, you dropped a herb. Oh, there's no. Not here. There's some acid rounds here. Right, I have some health. To the point where perhaps the most standard of standard enemies will not insta kill me. Got another green herb here. I shot him in the junk and that seemed to slow him down. Is that it? Did he die? Yep, he's dead. Well, I've got hang on, key card A. And I've got key card B. There's a. I've got a green herb on me and there's one here as well. So yep, we found can... one. There's another one right here as well. Six magnum bullets. So come over to where I am and I can give you this one as well. And there's one exactly where I'm stood. Well, I guess uh, the enemies are not infinitely spawning in this section. Hang on, let me. Green. I need ammo. Pick up. Green. So I can put them in the magnum for if we die and we need something that does more damage. I think that's almost everything. Another green herb. You know what? I don't even remember I was having health problems. 
That's how many green herbs I've taken. <laughs> I've just forgotten about pain. I've forgotten what pain is. Who invents <laughs> doors like this? Here we go. Well, this is a two-player game. It, I suppose this is a good way to sort of secure areas. You oh, need two people to simultaneously do things. Well, it's a two-player game. That doesn't mean it's a two-player universe. This entire plane of existence operates on the two-player principle. <laughs> Books are so wide that two people have to hold them. So, here we go. The sort of getting to one of the more interesting parts of the game. This is quite a difficult fight, and I'm still not entirely sure what you need to do to sort of win it. Uh, what I know is that we have. Keep countering his... Because uh... I don't know whether this is another time-based one, or whether it is that you keep you have to do enough damage. I don't know. He does that in the movie. Yeah. Why did I catch those? I'm already wearing sunglasses. I don't need any more. Did this come out before or after that film? Ah, uh, before. Yes. Much better. This was 2000. I wanted to say 7. Maybe. Who knows? So I, think I think 6 was 2009 or 2010. We're in the tens again, Grandad. Keep up. Why are you doing this? What do you accomplish by unleashing your. Why am I even taking hostages? Hey, humans come. I'm saying I. Why is Al Westbury even taking hostages? I'm not destroying. Like, I mean. I'm sick. What's the point? A man can dodge bullets. Hostage. Is it just because he needed a moment to talk? Probably. Does he really like hearing himself talk that much? Yes. God, he's so cool. This guy's a lot. Like, he's just beating us up with just pure cool. Oh, yeah, it's what you've got to do. You've got to be able to stab him with that, but it takes a bit of setup to do it. Well, you got to stun him, restrain him, and then stab him. Have you got space to use a rocket, get a rocket launcher? Uh, yeah, it's like a slight lantern. Good. It just replaces what you're holding, and you can't put it down. Well, if you something else, he puts it down. Yes. So a rocket launcher is quite useful against him here. Just have to kill you quickly. Also, turning off the light seems to do something right. It makes it hard for him to sort of come after you with some of the more strong attacks, I guess. Very. I'll see you dead. Oh. I thought you could dodge bullets. I'm sorry. Did I ruin oh, yeah, you? Yeah, he seems to be quite slow in this one. Did... Where the fuck is he? He just ran past me. Uh, so, turning these lights off doesn't appear to do much, but I think he's coming towards you now. Oh, hi. Oh, don't shoot him for a second. It's X. I'm fairly certain it's consistently X. Unless he just kicks you like that, which you can't dodge. Yeah, that's why you keep your distance to force him. Because if he runs at you, it will always be the counterable attack. Turns out he doesn't like getting shot. And you just got kicked in the face by Sheva. There's no point. Right, I'm going to get the rocket launcher. Which is here, by the way. And there's ammo scattered all over the place for it. Yeah, comes with a shot. Right, I'm going to see this bitch sass his way out of this. Catch this! Oh, oh, follow some fucking theory! Shit. Catch this! Oh, follow some fucking theory! Yes! I was kidding! Jesus! And then you shoot it and he explodes. I will run at him, see what happens. Restrain! Do it now! Give him the shot! Smash A! Oh, that didn't work at all! Get another get another round, get another round, get another round! He wasn't supposed to catch it! I've never seen that before! <laughs> no, we have seen that before. This is the second time we've played through the game and keeps doing shit that oh god, he's right there. Tell you what, fuck him. I'm gonna fight him with a pistol. Has it never occurred to you that this plan... Really? He's forgotten where we are? Only a hand. Surprise! I'm here! I'm over here, stupid bitch. Yeah, you probably want to get some more ammo and shoot him again with the rocket launcher. It's sort of the quickest way to deal with him, I think. Fight me! Because it is uh. 
is the best way in which to stun him. There are other ways, but it's the most effective. Come on, fight me. Let's jostle you and I. A back and forth between men. I don't know where these extra bullets are coming from, but I'm just having the time of my life. Come on. Come on, we do want to save some ammo for what's coming. All right then, you you dance with him. Can get more ammo for this bit. Uh, I'm keeping distracted. Fun fact: if you uh, look on my screen, I'll show you where the ammo is. It's, it's at the top. In a very similar container to sure. what the previous one was in, you have to use a knife to open it. Up. I mean, I guess you can use. Why? Put the put the put the fucking RPG round. Sorry, I'm having troubles getting the loading the damn thing. Load. Can I... Right, don't be near him for a second. Did I miss? I think so. It's like I either missed or he's coming... No, he's not coming on with it. It tends to be easier to get, get him when you're on the same level as him. I mean, I'm going to shoot slightly to the ground anyway. Yeah, advice. Shoot to the ground. Wow. I dodged that. I'm really good at just everything. Bang! Oh, I expected a uh, invitation to a QTE there. Did not, in fact, receive. Fight me! You pick up the rocket launcher. You have a go. Come. So you can buy a rocket launcher for this, but you also have to buy each round individually and they, don't, they take up quite a bit of room in your inventory. Rocket launchers are one shot. Come, jostle with me. We fight like men. It, it's quite expensive, really. For... for this section of the fight, every single attack he has that is long range prompts uh, a dodge. Where is he? Shit, you shoot it at me, you bitch. It wouldn't hurt you. Yeah, but that did. Can't leave you anywhere. Because I couldn't see his fucking... Sh the fact that he was trying to shoot me through the smoke. Use a healing item on yourself. Yeah, you can just use it straight out of the menu, right? Yeah, but I didn't want it. And plus, I was I was smashing A, so I was kind of stressed. Yeah, I'm over here, you bitch. Ugh. How'd it feel? Yeah, there I am. Come get me. With superior DNA. Stop talking about science. Shoot it. Yeah, I'm already aiming at him. Restrain him. Restrain that bitch and I'll stab him. Come at me. I shot him in the leg. Another one. I think there's there's also some... No, there's not here. I'm sure there's some around on down here, isn't there? Albert. I'm completely out of bullets, but you don't know that. Yeah, there I am! Charge at me! Wow, it's a good thing I can dodge bullets as well. Otherwise, this might be slightly unfair. We'll be allowed to carry their Come on. A new age. Another round. Caught you! Now who's superior, bitch? You think you look cool? You think you look cool with your long coat? So I can just keep backing up and you literally cannot hit me. Bang! I win again. 
So you sort of need to fire it at him. Oh, just tell me whenever you're ready. Um, right. I'm out of bullets. I can't do anything about that. Ha! Got a sniper rifle, bitch. Got it. Got it. I'm right in front of him. Come on! Inject! And inject. We win. That's how you win that fight, basically. Otherwise, you can spend hours just running around toying with him if you really want to. I was. I wasn't even using any ammo in the last part. I could have boxed with him for ages. And yeah, don't put your. Did it work? Don't put your controller down because you are about to go into Q a very long QTE. I know. And this time, don't drop me. You assassin. You dropped me last time. Yeah, only because you were being a bitch about it. I died. I was having a flashback, okay? It's very important. I need to recall this information. Shut up, he's getting away. Hurry. Ooh, do 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 do. What the frig even is that? This is definitely set it, in the it's future. It's kind of right? like a giant version of the unmanned drones that we have. It's a space plane. Pretty much. Wow, you are terrible at running. I'm in high heels. Do you try running in heels? No, but evidently Albert Wesker can run faster than the human eye can comprehend in fucking high heels. Because he is wearing them. Come on, Sheva. Try harder. Uh, another interesting angle choice there. I'm going to partly chalk that up to the fact she's not wearing a skirt in the original programming, so it naturally will not account for things like that. But she is wearing like the tightest of tightest trousers. She's probably got more modesty in this outfit than she does in her normal one. It's pretty ridiculous. Leon and Claire escape Raccoon City with William and Annette Birkin's daughter Sherry after defeating the mutated William Bir William Birkin created by the G-Virus. <laughs> okay. I just remembered. Does he even know we're on this? No. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, no, he does. Demated you, Chris. Unless he doesn't, he just model walks <laughs> to himself. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. I don't need anyone. You must have some practice from this. You must practice somehow to give these speeches. Boros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Boros will be released into the atmosphere. In short, Complete global penetration. Ah. Oh. Deleted scenes are great. <laughs> Shit. Dodge. I let go of the controller for just a nanosecond. See, we have to share the screen, so there's no way of knowing who has to do what QTE. So just press them all, just in case. Yeah. Half of them are sort of shared anyway. So only delay the inevitable. God, he's so s cool. He just doesn't even care. The world will be infected. I swear he doesn't have to do that. He's just doing it to show off. A new Genesis is at hand. So he's still being sassy with his flips. Ah, oh, God, that was so cool. See, Sheva can throw down with him. Ah, oh, we're juicing him up again. You're just another one of Umbrella's leftovers. He's just pantomimes a roid rage at this point. All right, I'll go for the override. Pantomime, tantamount. Christ, what's wrong with my words today? Ooh. It's getting windy! Oh, stressful quick time events going on here. <laughs> yeah. This is where he dropped me last time. Shut up! I didn't know that. I thought we were done. What's the button to do that again? I don't know, I don't remember. Right, I've got my hand, fingers on both triggers and X and A. Presumably it's the triggers. Wow, Chris looks so dopey. I'm not surprised <laughs> I prefer Leon. He looks very much like um, Serious Sam there. No! 
Ha! Didn't drop me this time, bitch. You owe me two electric grenade launcher rounds. Ah, what? And there he goes. Perfectly good coat. I mean, if we just killed him with bullets, we could have kept the coat. I mean, it would probably be full of bullet holes, but there's only so much you can do. You can't win them all. <sighs> but yes, we've just crashed a plane, stabbed Wesker with a thing, and it appears to be sending him insane. And now we're in a volcano. Well, this is going to be toasty. This is difficult. And this, at this point, when you get to here, you need to have at least a sniper rifle for Chris. Come on! And preferably a shotgun for other characters. It's just, you know, the, there's a part in this that you'll see in a moment that is sort of almost impossible to do unless you've got a sniper rifle as Chris, so. Alright, I do have 38 bullets for it though, so it's not all yes. bad. Right, let's get going. And we'll explain what we're doing as we go through this so you know what... Do you have any healing items? Uh, no. There's a green herb over there, so I'm going to... No. To be fair, we shouldn't really need healing items for this bit. Yeah, it's pretty much entirely... Con Everything in this part is basically a one-hit kill or contextual. Yes. So healing items are functionally... Yeah, it's a. I should have killed you years this is a diff. This is difficult to figure out on your first time through because it doesn't tell you that you've sort of got contextual things you must complete. So, wait. It's not that it burned off. He's just taken his shirt off. Yes. Started. It's like a Zuka four. I mean, like, why? I I love that. Just the way that they take the shirts off I can understand but how they manage to sort of get the jacket to go with it is the difficult part yeah you sort of it's like a it's like a flourish they, they just grab sort of the grab it and then grab the collar and yank and just the entire shirt comes off in one neat little move until they're all having a giant fist fight with shirtless fist fight on the top of a skyscraper it's awesome well this is just peachy this, this is a bad Monday like if I came into work today and this is what I had to deal with I probably get a call in sick tomorrow <laughs> yeah well basically you've probably got a good idea of the first thing you've got to do here and it's called an old let's just back turn and run <laughs> let's just battle like men this is all contextual you can't actually hurt him or bypass this you have to do it so yes we will be uh Providing a running commentary here yeah. of exactly um, what to do. So what he's going to do now, he's going to follow Chris, and there'll be a quick scene where it shows a weak spot appearing on him, which... Addendum? There's a green herb here. Yeah. I'm going to have to shoot from up here. That eye on his back. Slightly different. Aiming isn't there made you of, go. Aiming isn't made all that easy on this because of all the red of the lava. Oh, down it. Here. Right, wait for me to make wait for me to make a full circle. Do this again. Come on, come on. It may take one or two tries for us to actually do this because it is sort of one hit kill, auto fail sort of stuff going on right now, so. Well, he's just stopped walking for some nebulous reason. And you may be wondering why I'm not using the shotgun with one its range and two, the shotgun is one of the best things for killing him, so. When it comes to it. Yeah, it only comes down to damage in a while. And that is after sort of the next checkpoint, so you sort of know when you're getting to that, when it hits the checkpoint. Alright, he's going to start showing his back. 
turn his back to me at the moment. There. there we go. So he's going to jump up here with me now and sort of... I want to try and move slowly but not get close enough to be hit, otherwise it will just kill me in one. Did you bring the grenade launcher? No, I didn't this time. Shit. But I don't really need it too much, but that's something if you are struggling with this. If you've got a grenade launcher Sheva, you can shoot him and it will slow him down slightly. Nothing but loads of Say, so Chris has got to go and push this boulder down now. I'm trying, I'm trying. Before, before you move much further than where I am, you can't, there's this little bridge here. You don't want to go onto it until he's moved that boulder. Say, so it's going to be very difficult for me to not do in a second. Right. You're going to have to move quickly here because I am literally running out of space. And what you need to do here is Chris needs to shoot Wesker before he manages to get to Sheva. This is why he needs the sniper rifle. Oh shit. Unfortunately he managed to get me there so we're going to have to do this again but that's sort of the idea. Fucking bolt action. But as you're probably going to see here we're going to probably swap out. I'm going to swap out a few of my stuff. I'm going to get rid of this vest because don't need it. Uh, we're gonna put remove those three shotgun shells. Have some explosive grenade launcher. I'm gonna throw a grenade launcher in there just for a bit of help. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna remove the acid rounds. I'm going to throw in the. Desert Eagle as well, just to sort of Why make it? Clear space in your inventory for a second. I'll keep the shotgun shells because they're more important than assault rifle stuff. The pistol's kind of nice for long range. Well, I've got no bullets for it. I'm going to ditch it and take this deagle instead. I think Slide I'm probably going to remove this handgun ammo as well so I can get... Organise those, add those in. And... I'll put the rifle in as well. Might be useful for that first bit. So. Yeah, this is the last boss fight. There is literally no need to do anything close to ammo conservation here. Yeah, and I say, your ch chances are you're probably going to die oh, on your first point on this. Chris. So don't worry too much if you do. At least then you can equip yourself like we have to be more effective. Chris! Natural selection leaves the survivors stronger and better. Humans have escaped this for far too long. Hits. I think maybe it's on his front now. It looks like it because I can't see it anymore. Well, then I might die here. I'm lucky. I got him. That's alright. Like, am I still in that? Okay. I don't know. Either way, you're already there, so it should take Damn it. Either that, either way, though, you're there, so you should be able to do it before he gets too close to me this time. Right, cool. You've got time to get into position now to see him before I go over the bridge. Yeah, I will show you now a good position to do this, this from. The QT you've got to do here, Sheva, is quite difficult. You've really got to mash the X button as well quite rapidly. Uh, with Chris, what you want to do is stand up about... Are you in position? Here. Right, I'm going. Because what Albert will do once you distract him... He'll is... shoot at you. 
will shoot at you rather than at Sheva. Ooh, that was close. But here, he can't actually hit you because it will keep clipping on the environment. Which gives you a chance to keep shooting him before he gets to me, basically. Yes, so you, it will show you the dodge prompt, but feel free to just utterly ignore it. Probably going to take about three or four shots on Wesker to stop him getting to me, usually. Now I'm up, I can run down and join Sam on the main platform, and Wesker will join us shortly, and then we move on yes. to the actual part of the boss fight where the damage you deal actually does make a difference. So. As far as distracting Wesker goes, uh, it takes one shot for him to change his targets. He'll shoot three or four sort of tentacle balls at you. So but, to this point, you now both want to go up onto the central platform of this island that Chris is on to well, start... Because if you don't both go up there at the same time, it doesn't start the next point of the um, boss fight. This is now damage And based. you can end up running around in circles forever trying to sort of get to somewhere where you're doing the damage, which is what caused these issues when we first did this. Ooh, that was lucky. I had to swap a weapon there and... Wow, very close to getting Deagle dumped. makes him flinch every time. So yeah, um, what's going to happen here is he's he's going to his weak spot is going to switch between being either on his front or on his back. And when he does a a impression of a wobbly car wash man, he just don't be anywhere. Near don't him. get near him. He's got an AOE attack that he'll use. I kind of need you up here to help guide him. his weak points on his back at the moment. So not when he puts one arm up in the air, it's when he puts up two. Like, like that, so. It looks really goofy, but it does take a lot it, it of gives, damage. It gives you a good warning to get away from because that thing will do so much damage. It's really not funny. It's on his front. Now it's on his front. Good help, it wasn't being so inaccurate. It's okay, I hit him. Yeah, this entire section is entirely damage based, so. Yeah, seriously, you are use doing the stuff grenade launcher. Use the grenade launcher, use the deagle, use an upgraded shotgun. You there is nothing after this. There is no reason to conserve ammo. No. Not and this is what this is what those big sort of powerful weapons are sort of being saved for. Or what you saved them for through the campaign. Uh, I didn't bring enough to reload this uh, grenade launcher, but if luck holds... I've also got a grenade launcher, so... If luck holds true, it should be totally unnecessary. Yeah, he'll, he'll do that a couple packed, of times. I think I packed the grenade launcher anyway. Oh, he's back. Sorry, I made him flinch. So who's back? Christ. Say this is really quite easy with two people because you can just kite him backwards and forwards. Ah, oh, he dodged that one, man. Right, I'm going to switch to the shotgun now. I've used the eagle. The shotgun is actually a pretty effective weapon against him. This move appears to have a dodge prompt, so I was just saying that to test it for you viewers. I hope that was worth it. So as you can see, the shotgun is actually working quite effective against him as well, and it's actually. It's actually fairly easy to hit him with the shotgun as well, so it's something I would recommend using. After I get through this grenade launcher, I've only got my... Yeah, I say I can do a lot of damage to him now with the shotgun, so... It's done... The shotgun stun locks him every time you hit the weak point as well, so... And... I think... Right, it looks like he's going to his back. Yeah, there's only one or... We've only got a few more times where he's going to do that now. Uh... Oh shit, he wants me. He wants me. Because you have done a lot of damage to him already. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to get the closer for the shotgun to do anything you use. The shotgun is quite good at hitting him from the side as well. Uh, 
There we go. Wibbly wobbly waving man. Woo! It's just such a goofy thing, but it gives it's a it telegraphs that move so much that if you're close enough to get hit by it, you deserve to be. To be quite honest. And there we go. That is the end of that boss fight. Straight in the chest. <laughs> Turns out, uh, explosive grenade launcher, very effective. Yes, and um, lava too. I wonder if any electric rounds would have been any use. Quite possibly. Or the nitrogen rounds. Yeah, maybe. Oh, or does freezing things become totally and utterly fucking useless in the middle of a volcano? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it is nitrogen. Pretty cold stuff. Really should have kept a hold of that ladder, Chris. Seriously, it's like one second later, you just would have been dead. Yes, he would have been gone. I mean... And that lovely suit too. Totally discounting the fact that lava is hot before you touch it. <laughs> uh, if you did touch it, you probably would vaporize your leg. Yep. I say, Jill and Josh have come to our rescue at the very last second. I wonder where they came from. Oh no, he's still not dead. He's in lava. He's Spider Man. <laughs> he used his webbing. More like carnage. Yeah, he's kind of or crazy. Alex Mercer prototype. Yeah, prototypes Alex Mercer. There's too many Alex M's in gaming. It's hard to get mixed up from time to time. I think Carnage is Butch Cassidy. Yes, he is. Suck on this, Wesker. And that's the very last QT in the game. Yeah, don't miss it. Don't forget about that one. Otherwise, you do actually die. I don't think you have to do the boss fight again. No, but, but you have to watch the cutscene again. This cutscene will loop indefinitely. Yeah until you do it. And as I say, we just eviscerated his head and the rest of his body sank into lava. That is the last we'll see of him. Ever. Until possibly Resident Evil 7. Oh, God knows. They could have cloned him. We might have to... I think he's the only surviving quest. He is. Who knows where this plot could go. He did kill all his brothers and sisters, so yes, he is the only surviving one. Claire will trip Paris Laboratory only to be captured in prison on Rockfall Island. See? Yes, see? That's why I said it so much. Feel free to put the controller down now. Yeah, QTEs are over. I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, have a drink. It's over. Yes. Finally. It's behind you. It's like it's small, behind it's, been, it's in between the quilt and the cookie. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Really? future without fear. How much money do we actually spend there, assuming we bought all that ammo? Yeah, it's worth it. It's like, I'm fairly certain I would be I would be attempting to justify to myself anything that costs that much money. <laughs> like, once you've breached the I've spent more than 10 grand in bullets, yeah, it's like, I don't care what I've done, I'll try and justify it somewhere. You know what you're going to do when you edit this? Right here, right now, you're going to pop up the total cost in ammunition that that final boss fight cost by looking it up on the internet of how much it costs to buy the equipment we used and how many bullets we used. Like in dollars? Or pounds or whatever. Again. There he is again. Jean-Christophe Hideaki Sinclair Moyne. I've got to say, it's quite expensive. I know the grenade launcher shots are quite expensive from experience. The actual pistol rounds, the, the actual machine gun rounds, pistol rounds and shotgun shells aren't all that expensive to be honest you know you get dime a dozen but yeah you do like you get packs of like pistol bullets you like dicks for those non-american viewers dicks is a sports shop kind of like jcb yeah uh they sell guns you just gotta walk all the way to the back it's right next to basketball i think yes and I say, fishing you can buy you can buy box of bullets for like couple of quid yes the, the expensive stuff for what we used there was probably think about it this way in Walmart it's boys toys girls toys fishing boating equipment guns <laughs> <laughs> not anymore no since um, bowling for 
Columbine, they stopped selling ammunition because of the protests. Yes. Michael Moore. Uh, yeah, because they, they took the, some of the kids that were shot during the Columbine shootings and said, you know, we want to return the bullets that were bought at your store. And they stopped selling them. So, yeah, victory for... Well, small victory in the first place. Uh. A gun crime, maybe? Yeah, just cause. Ah, do we know the credits? Storyboard, yeah. concept and design by lowercase y, uppercase u, plus eo. These are weird names. Cast. Daniel Sampler. Gene. <laughs> Two guys voiced every <laughs> single enemy. Nice. <laughs> Gaffer. Yeah. It's like, now, now they've done like a media course. They just spell cinematics wrong. I don't know. They said cinematics. Cinematic CG supervisor. English. It's a cinema. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Akira Sakawa. Yutaka Ishida. Kentaro Kato. I like his name. Yeah. Or Kato. Andy Reeves. <laughs> Much less cool. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, Alawesca, DC Douglas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, lots of guys. But I think yeah, that, there you go. That's because it's the... Reynard Eng- Fisher, Liam O'Brien, I was right. Yeah, but well, that's because it's the English one, is it not? The, the English cast is bigger than the Japanese one. More because, you know, all black people sound the same in Japan. Ugh, who knows. In the Russian one, they don't speak at all. To see a black man in Russia is very rare. I think it's that they just don't can't can't really stand the cold. To be fair, well, they are just like just genetic predisposition. Yeah, they're kind of built to uh, be in sunnier environments. You can't get kind less, of weird much re- less sunnier than Russia. Kind of, it's kind of weird to refer to people like machines. Yeah. But the whole the blue eyes, the fair skin. It's, well, that, better suited to the well, kind of the reason, environment they came up to. That's the reason why you find, um, you know, a lot of Russians are very pale people. It's evolution. Specialising for the environment they lived in. And that's where you find sort of British people tend to sort of be a mixture of light and dark because we deal with a lot of varying weather yeah, that we... can change in seconds. It's ridiculous. We've got a pretty varied weather here. Also, culturally, we're sort of got many inhabitants well, it's of one of the old thing, cultures. It's one of the old things from the British Empire. Unlike most other places where they sort of built an empire and crushed the culture, we instead sort of ruled but incorporated the culture into our own, which is why you can find almost any type of food you want here in the UK. Like Rome. They just sort of absorbed. Couldn't even come up with their own gods. Yes, they, they stole a lot from the Greeks. In fact, most of the greatest inventions and ideas that the Romans had came from Greek citizens and 3D inventors and that anyway. Cast again. Crew. Oh, this might be just for the DLC. Yeah. Possibly. Publicity artwork. Promotion support. And every single one of these people got a paycheck. Yeah. So it takes a lot of people to make a game. Senior testers. It's one of the things I'm sure you've learned doing a media course, yeah. seeing as I'm doing a degree in film and being Regular a director. Testers, God, there's a lot of mm. testers. So I'm doing a degree in being a film director, and it's amazing how many people it takes just to do a simple 
just to set up a shot and a location and you, you know it Huey takes Huey hundreds Huey. and hundreds of people hundreds and hundreds of hours to create film that's why it's all so expensive They're all Equip the equipment's expensive people are expensive and you need lots of them Ah, oh, this is the first time I've actually sat through the entirety of the credits. <laughs> Better get a bonus scene. Though. Kind of doubt it. It's Capcom. They like to cheap you out. <sighs> DLC for extra scene at the end of the credits. I thought it was a bit upsetting. But anyway, let's, let's uh, end game. We win. That's it. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. And we'll be moving on to the second DLC. And so join us for that.